In this web clip, I will demonstrate the alignment methods available in FORGE, the powerful computational chemistry suite for understanding structure activity relationships and design. There are two types of molecules in the Crescent software, reference molecules and comparison or database molecules. The reference molecule is in a preferred conformation or bioactive pose and can come from a variety of sources, including protein ligand crystal structures, pharmacophore hypotheses, or multiple pre-aligned single conformations. The reference molecule is treated as a single fixed conformation and has the three-dimensional field point pattern that is preferred for activity. The comparison or database molecules are compared to the reference. In order to do the three-dimensional comparison in a sensible way, the database molecules must first be conformationally populated then each conformation for each molecule is aligned to the reference and a score generated. An alignment score, similarity score, of 1 indicates a completely perfect alignment, whereas an alignment score of 0 indicates a completely imperfect alignment. Two alignment protocols are available in the Crescent environment, each with their own benefits and liabilities. First, there is our standard field-based alignment, in which we use a combination of electrostatics, shape, and hydrophobic field points to align molecules, and calculate a score using a combination of these feature alignments. This approach is independent of chemical structure, and works well for libraries where there is a large degree of structural diversity. Looking at the results from the field-based alignment, we see that the alignment is in tune with what we would expect from docking results or X-ray data, in that groups do not necessarily overlap perfectly. Examining bioactive poses of different ligands in protein ligand crystal structures, we find it to be quite rare that substantial portions of ligand structures are perfectly overlaid or atoms found in exact same places. While the field-based alignment may provide a sensible alignment of features in the context of what the protein receptor sees, the maximum common substructure method produces an alignment where common substructure is overlaid so that non-common features can be quickly isolated and examined, very much a ligand-centric approach. This can be useful for identifying structure activity relationships for a library built on a single scaffold with functional variations around the core. For more diverse sets, the MCS option is not preferred. Let's explore how these alignment algorithms work. In field-based alignment, each conformation of the comparison molecule is subjected to a rigid body comparison to the reference, which is also rigid. To generate a starting alignment, a variant of color-coded clique matching is done where we build up cliques of field points and try to match edges and faces. Once appropriate starting alignments are found, the structures are aligned according to least squares fittings of the field point maps, then submitted to a simplex optimizer. In scoring the alignment, we use a combination of field and shape-based similarity. We see for molecules here that we have a reasonable field similarity of 0.66. Looking at the shape similarity, we have a score of 0.98. Using these two similarity features in combination, we get a combined score of 0.82. By default, we use 50% fields, 50% shape, but this option is customizable to the user preference. As you can imagine, a three-dimensional field shape-based alignment can allow the comparison of structurally diverse molecules and reduce library dependence on a common scaffold. In essence, we are comparing molecules in the true sense of bioisosterism. We see in the picture that three structurally very different molecules have very similar field point patterns in their bioactive conformations. On the other hand, if we are working with a concentric series and wish to have a specific common moiety forced together in the alignment, we can use the maximum common substructure option in the alignment. When the MCS option is turned on, a special conformation hunt is done. The common substructure with the reference molecule is held in the same conformation as the reference molecule, and groups that are not part of the common substructure are conformationally hunted. The resulting conformations are then scored against the reference molecule using the current scoring metric with the top scoring conformations being presented as the top scoring alignments.
Within the panel, we can also control how the routine handles hybridization and element differences. Normal performs a strict match of substructure. Ring atoms can only match other ring atoms. With permissive, the substructure matches ignore element, but matches on hybridization. For example, cyclohexane would match morpholine, but not benzene. With very permissive, ring atoms can match non-ring atoms. For example, butane can match part of cyclohexane. To examine how an alignment is affected by the maximum common substructure options, we will look at a small set of PERC inhibitors that were published in 2012, which have a common indolene core. The peripheral groups have some variation, but also much commonality in their structures. Let's open this data set in FORGE. In this file, we have a set of structures aligned to the ligand from PDB4G31 in our usual crescent alignment method using 50% fields, 50% shape. If we look at the indolene core, we see that there is some variation in the positions of the atoms of the core and quite a bit of variation in the peripheral groups. Let's realign using the maximum common substructure. To redo the alignment, let's click the button that looks like a calculator in the row of buttons at the top of the forge window. In the alignment options, choose to delete existing alignments and toggle off the inversion of achiral conformations since we know the absolute chirality for these molecules. Now we toggle on the MCS option and choose normal. Normal makes us match both the element and its hybridization. Clicking start will begin the alignment in MCS mode. Now that the MCS alignment has finished, we see that the alignment of the indolene core is much tighter, along with much of the peripheral groups due to their common structural features. While the field-based alignment may provide a more sensible alignment of features in the context of the whole molecule, and indeed resembles the variations in alignment motifs that we would see in X-ray structure poses, the MCS normal results produce an alignment where common substructure is overlaid so that non-common features can be quickly isolated and examined. This can be useful for identifying structure activity relationships for a library built on a single scaffold with functional variations around the core. For more diverse sets, the MCS option is not preferred. If you have any questions or would like additional information regarding the Crescent alignment algorithms, please contact us by emailing support at crescent-group.com.